Brahman sir again. And this class is specially meant for active and passive voice. Okay, from today onwards we'll be dealing with a new topic and that is active and passive voice. You might have done this topic before in your previous classes, but we will be taking up once again so that we clarify our doubts and then we try to rectify the mistakes that we have, have been doing from the past. All right? Let's see the examples first. The first example out here is the cat killed the mouse. And this is an active voice. All right? The cat out here is the subject. And killed out here is a verb. All right? And the mouse is the object out here. All right? Mouse is the object out here. Okay? The cat is the subject. Killed is the verb. And the mouse is the object out here in the sentence. All right? Now, whenever we have to transform this sentence into passive form, you need to take an example from here. See? Subject, verb, and object. Now, the object becomes the subject. The mouse. All right? Here it becomes the subject. Was killed is the verb now. Since it is killed out here, it is in the past form. And we have written out here, was killed. Now by the cat. Now the cat becomes the object out here in the passive form. Right? Now if you see this sentences closely, and then you will find out here, the subject which was there in the active form has become the object in the passive form and the object out here which is in the active voice has become the subject in the passive form all right so let us clarify one more doubt with one more example the example out here is columbus discovered america which is an active voice all right now here the columbus is the subject all right Discovered, which is in the past form and it is a verb, alright? And America is an object out here, okay? Columbus discovered America and it is in active voice. Now, if you try to convert it into passive form, now the object becomes the subject out here in the passive voice. Now, America becomes the subject out here. America was discovered is the verb, alright? Was discovered by Columbus. Now the subject which we have written in the active voice, it has become the object out here. Alright? So regarding this, I will be giving you exercise number 39, 40 and 41. On that day, I will be giving you the questions and in the evening I will be supplying you the answers. Let us now see some more, a uh, bit more things about this solved explanation so that we get clarified all right active voice now what you have noticed the cat killed the mouse your job is to identify the verb first all right the main thing is to identify the verb and the subject and the object all right once you identify the verb immediately in most of the active and passive voice verb will be followed by the subject most of the time all right so the main thing is once you identify the verb and after that, the object is placed, all right? The, the object of the verb, which is followed after the verb, will become the subject immediately after when you make the passive form. So your first job is to identify the verb, all right? Once you identify the verb, it will be easy for you to write the active sentences into passive form. Sometimes it can be vice versa also. You might ask, passive form and you are asked to write the active form of that so there also you need to identify the verb first for example if this would have been the question the mouse was killed by the cat now you need to identify the verb and the verb out here is the kill all right so when you turn it into active form the thing the object which has which is in the passive form will become the subject the cat Killed will become the verb because was killed is there which is in the act, uh, passive form. Now we are going to make it in the active form. So the cat killed the mouse. Alright. So your main thing is to identify the verb. And after the verb most of the time it is supplied or our object is supplied after the verb most of the time in this section called active and passive voice. I think this video will help you. And if you do not understand anything please call me. Thank you very much.